Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Couture K and I'm here with another video. So thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're new, thank you for watching. If you're an OG, thank you for coming back. So uh, we're gonna crack things off. I'm gonna start off by introducing a new product that I'm gonna be using here on my channel. Um, it's something that just recently came out and it is by CoverGirl. So, so this is what CoverGirl sent me. Um, they sent me their entire, I think this is their entire um, clean fresh collection these are the new covergirl clean fresh foundations so they're called skin milk so it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer in a sense but they're calling it skin milk they have 15 shades of their skin milk and I'm gonna read to you what they say so it says nourishing foundation with coconut milk and aloe extract majority of these shades are lighter they're about, hmm, I would say six shades for darker women. It just skips. Let me show you all of them. I'm gonna show y'all the darker shades too, just so y'all can see the variety that they have. This one is tan rich, rich, rich deep, deep. deep dark and last but not least we have dark so I mean they have six colors like when we're used to like buying 40 colors I mean having 40 colors to choose from you know this is kind of small but being that it's a kind of like a tenant moisturizer I think I don't know, maybe CoverGirl felt like or they just wanna test it out before they create different shades, I don't know. These colors I actually had to mix because there was not a color for my skin tone. So I kinda of had to make it do what it do and mix two of them together. So, but I mean, it's fine, it's not bad, but I mean, considering you have to purchase these, you don't wanna have to purchase two foundations. So these are about $10. So, you know, spending $20 when you could have gotten one for $10, you know what I'm saying? You could definitely save money if there were a larger shade variety. Um, but I was able to, you know, make it work, but not everybody knows how to do that. Not everybody knows, oh, I need to get this color and this color and it'll create this color, you know what I'm saying? It so. claims to blur imperfections, even out skin tone. It has a sheer buildable coverage and it claims to provide instant and all day hydration. So I'm gonna show you all this look from start to finish. So let's get started. So I'm going in with this foundation and it goes on really smooth. I will give them that a nice satin feel. See that? I don't know how I'm feeling these colors. I really feel like they should have had more variety. I mean, I don't know if this is the perfect match. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's not a bad match. I have a mirror down here also. But it just looks a little... I don't want to say gray. But it does have a little tint to it that I'm just... I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. It's, it's very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. I don't feel like I have a lot of makeup caked on my face. It's very movable. It's not like hard to actually move around, I guess, because it's so lightweight. And it's cooling. I, I feel like a cooling sensation. See that? Because it's like leaving a film up here just keep blending in and I'm gonna grab my handy dandy beauty blender to actually soak up some of the makeup that's just sitting there you know I have my beauty blender and I'm gonna go in and go to work doesn't really have a smell which is good cuz I hate makeup with fragrance I'm just makes me kind of cringe I'm not even gonna lie it kind of gives me like a weird feeling because I'm like oh god all of that fragrance is gonna make me break out that's the first thing I think when I smell makeup with fragrance 
like my forehead looks a hot mess but overall i'm still seeing a gray cast or whatever i don't know maybe it might oxidize but i really don't know but i'm hoping that it will because i don't want to be walking around looking crazy and my skin looks so good i'm not trying to brag but if y'all only knew what I've been through with my skin, I'm sure you saw some of my videos. I have a video on my um, journey on some of the things that I have done to try to improve my skin when all the while it was my birth control I was on. And yeah, I really think that's that's, re that's really what it was because I, I just really didn't know. I was just breaking out, breaking out and Recently, I went to a new dermatologist here in LA and look at my skin now. Really no breakouts. I had one little bump here and I went to the recording of America's Funniest Videos. I had a little, I had a bump right here. So you can kind of still see where it went away, but I didn't pop it or anything. I just let it be. See, now it looks a little bit better to me. And look at that. So it's kind of like some of the excess that was just sitting there. Um, overall I mean it doesn't look bad but if you like lightweight makeup I mean and then, then the ingredients in it are supposed to be really good for your skin paraben free vegan cruelty free and all of that so that's definitely a plus but I don't think it looks bad we'll do that so we're gonna move on and I'm gonna speed things up and keep going and don't mind under my eyes I think I have a little I had a little bit of mascara on and it I rubbed it of course where it didn't wash all the way off I added a little bit of the Juvia's Play so foundation stick and this well, that could be used for concealing too so just to give me a little tint honey because I need a little redness it was a little too gray for me this is the new boing I think that's how you pronounce it. Boing Cake List Concealer. And it's by Benefit. Trying out some new things. So I'm blending out these Boing Cake List Concealers. I had to mix two colors because they only sent me three and the shades that they sent that I used were number eight and number 10. So you see that big gap there? So the number 10 was a tad bit darker than my skin tone, but I took that and I mixed it with the number eight, so it made the perfect shade. So I'm adding a little bit more and I'm blending everything out. And then I'm gonna go in and set everything with my Sasha Buttercup Powder, which is my favorite. So I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Contour Stick, which is a foundation stick, but you can use it for multiple things. Contour, concealing, whatever you want to. Foundation, anything. And now I'm taking the Nomad by Juvia's. I'm using these two shades in my crease area just to blend everything out. And then I'm going to prime my eyelids for a slight cut crease. And I'm using my P. Louise Eyeshadow Primer. This one, I really love it. It really, really stays. I had some on the back of my hand. Y'all, I washed, washed my hands multiple times and it still stayed on the back of my hand, a little patch of it for like a day or two. So it really works. So I'm taking this shimmery shade here and it is more of like a white goldish, silverish kind of color. It's more on the gold side, but it's not a dark gold. So it's really, really pretty. I love this color. So I'm tapping that on the area where I place the eyeshadow primer. And then I'm taking that darker shade that I used earlier and I'm using that on my crease. So this was a really simple eye look, but it was so beautiful once everything came together. So now I'm using my liner by L'Oreal. I love this eyeliner. I have been using it for years and it rarely dries out. I love the fact that it has lasted me this long, you know, so. Now I'm taking my Pretty Couture lashes. They're, they're so pretty that I just love them. Like they're so gorgeous.
So now I'm taking my NYX lip liner. It's a nice brown color. And I'm taking my Lip Plumping Lip Gloss by Victoria's Secret in Nude. And it makes your lips tingle, of course, because it has that plumping sensation. So now I'm taking my Pop Beauty Peach Lip Gloss and adding that on top. So I want to talk a little bit about the CoverGirl Skin Milk. It's supposed to be a dewy finish also, and I don't know how I feel about dewy finishes, but I tend to get like oily here. Like I've had it on for about an hour now. So you can see here like, you know, a little bit of oils and stuff like that. And that tends to be the area where I get the most oil. So produce the most oil. So thank you so much CoverGirl for sending me these to try. This is my honest review. So I actually think that it is very hydrating. I noticed that once I put it on, I noticed that my skin was, it felt like it was a cooling sensation, not too much, but I think that may be the aloe extract that's in the product and they also have coconut milk as well thank you all so much for watching hopefully you all enjoyed this video i really had fun trying out new products so thank you all again don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you want new videos here on my channel and i will see you all later Bye bye